What's going on guys? Steve Riggs, Anarchy Audio Works. Welcome back to the channel. I've got an absolute game changer for you here today. Loot Masters have recently updated their Loot Cloud software to version 3. Now this is a cloud-based system that's going to integrate with whatever door you're using, Ableton or Cubase or Logic or whatever, and it's going to help you organize all of your sample library that you own already, and it's going to help you find new things on the store really quickly, really easily, and it's going to give you a bunch of options so you can audition your samples before you choose them in context with your track. So let's jump right in, and I'm going to show you how it works. I've got a bit of a loop going already again, uh, we've got some drums, just a bass, and a couple of effect sounds just to get something going so we can work around. Let's have a little listen. We're on a bit of a synth wave, 80s kind of vibe today. Let's have a look. Really cool so far. So what I've done is I've got Loop Cloud open just as a standalone, and it can link up to Ableton using this VST that it comes with here. So that's gonna sync everything that we're using in Loop Cloud into our session. So if we find out what key that we're using, let's go into our base part over here. Now we're working in the key of G. So let's go back over to Loop Cloud. And we've got this auto key feature at the bottom. So we know we're working in G. So if we put auto key on and we set the target key to G. So now every sample that we listen to, we, doesn't matter what key that it's, it's already in, it's going to change the key of it to fit with our project. So we're not going to hear anything that's out of tune or anything now. So maybe, what can we add now? Maybe go for a pad or something. So let's go into the search options here. And there's loads of different options. So let's just jump into pads. And I'm running from my library at the moment here. Uh, and I'm going to refine the search even further and go down to loops. Uh, so let's run the track. Let's go searching for some new sounds. Not bad, let's keep going. Now that's sounding really nice. We could see here in the name of that sample that it's actually originally in D minor. But if we look down here where the pitch, it's knocked it up five notes. So now it's actually sitting in time and in key with our track already. So if we go down to the bottom here, now this is already in my sample library, so we haven't got to download it or anything. But all we're doing is just grabbing it and just going to throw it into our project. But we've got two options. We could grab the original sample, which will be in D minor, which we don't really want. So let's go to the process sample and that's already gonna embed the new key information and everything into it. So if we just go to here, processed, and just drag and drop that into a new channel in our session. I'm gonna copy it over a couple of times. Now that's dropped it in perfectly in key for us. So I'm going to put a bit of reverb on there uh, just to soften it up slightly. So we got Let's push it into the background of the mix a little bit. Beautiful. Let's throw a bit of an EQ on there as well. Let's get rid of all those bass frequencies that might be clashing with the bass or the kick or whatever. Okay, it's sounding really nice so far. So let's carry on with the track and see what else we can add. Let's get rid of that pad option there and we'll go on leads instead. So let's play the track. Flick through some new sounds. That's sounding pretty cool. Now again, let's just throw that into our truck. Let's drag and drop it into a new channel. Copy it over a couple times. Really 
really nice. Now that's all sitting perfectly in key with what we already had and we haven't even done anything to it. So what else can we find? Let's maybe look for a vocal or something like that. Uh, let's jump into vocals. That's sounding pretty cool, so let's throw that in as well. If I jump over to the store now, uh, I'm going to search Synthwave. Uh, let's jump into this one. I think I might have used this one before, so... It's a cool little sample library. Let's go into instruments and maybe to ARPS. Yeah, I've definitely used this one before. As you can see, if, you, if you've been in this sample library before and you've bought samples, then it'll put a little tick there so you don't waste your points and you don't end up buying the same sample twice. When you get Loop Cloud, it gives you 500 credits for free, so you can jump straight into the store and start buying samples, uh, even if you haven't put any money into it, basically. So, um, I mean, I've got a good few going on now i mean you can always buy extra points let's have a quick look the prices yeah for a thousand points you're looking at 10 pound two thousand points at 20 five thousand points you're looking at 50 pounds so if you're going to be buying a lot of samples then it's really worth just topping up your points and just so you've got them there i mean the samples range depending on what you're having if you loops sometimes they're 50 50 points one shots you're looking maybe 10, 15 or 25. There's different prices for different size samples and stuff, but you're getting a lot of bang for your buck anyway. I mean, 500 for free. You can just jump in and just start, start getting samples right away. Let's go back to Loot Cloud then and play the track. Now already that's sounding wicked. So let's throw that in directly from the store. As we can see, again, it's already pitched it down for us, so it's fitting perfectly with our key of G. It's knocked it down five notes. So I'm going to go to buy file right here. There we go. So I've bought that file now. I think that was 50 credits. So let's jump in, grab that process file, throw it into another channel. And it's that quick, guys. There you go. Already in. Already perfectly in key. And we could just keep going and just keep adding and adding and adding until our track's finished, basically. I say I'm using it every day at the moment. It's picked up my speed loads so far. So hopefully it does with yours as well. I'll put the link in the description for you. Totally free download. Go and check it out. This is going to help you get so much more organized and find your sounds real quick. Thanks again for watching. If you like what I do, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button on YouTube for me. And if you really love it, drop me a like on the Facebook page as well too. It really helps me out. Till next time, see you later.